You need something. And send some over to Spengali while you at it. Maybe she'll relax. Yeah, she. Well, we just gave her ammunition for another video. That's hilarious. I, I, I know. Buy her beware. Buy her. She said. She <laughs> said. Um, this is my plot. She said I'm manipulating people. I'm um, I'm manipulating. Them. I said, damn. <laughs> I said, I'm manipulating for my whatever I'm trying to do. Well, I mean. Got to do a better job at it. I mean, I know. Because I'm like, she's looking real stupid right now. And I go back to the fact that, okay, you're supposed to be in that field. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is supposed to help people with mental issues. But yet you make whack ass videos tearing people down. How does that make sense? Anti-Afro Spengali's wanted to point out who you heard at the top of this video, Max V and Glorion Murray. I'm actually looking forward to presenting this information because it gives me yet another opportunity to present you with bona fide facts. The first unequivocal, undeniable fact I'm presenting is the document down at the bottom. It is a disciplinary I don't remember how many pages it is referring to Glorion Murray. Now, what I want to do is make sure it's clear what I've stated in the past. People send us information on a regular basis. When I say us, anti-pride warriors, and never do we just get information and just put it out there. In fact, the document that I just referenced was sent to me several months ago, and there was no reason for me to just post that document there was no purpose to that regardless of how offended I was by Glorion's behavior still there was no reason to post it there is a reason now because I'm using it as a reference so Glorion on the other hand has come on and made a statement about my profession and stated that I'm supposed to be in this mental health field and I'm supposed to be helping people, but instead I tear people down. It's a general gripe. It's a general gripe. However, Glorion doesn't give any specifics and she's done this before, but what's significant about the statement, she tries to distance herself from the statement because she's concerned, I guess, that I'll come harder for her if she personalizes the statement. But the statement is about her it's not going to make any difference if she tries to get distance from it. So she doesn't want to say I'm tearing her down because we're not talking about other people. I'm talking about her because it involves her. She was the one on this video making the statement. And when she did, Max V didn't even tune into it. He just went to another subject, which was the smoke. Glorion did not present any sort of documentation to say here is anti afro Svengali's behavior, and here is a documentation that states it's improper. So how can I really respond to that? Can't really respond. My personal opinion is, I think Glorion Murray is attempting to guilt me into ceasing what I'm doing, which is coming onto this channel and calling her inappropriate behavior out, which I'm not gonna do. If I decide to do that, I'll decide to do it. If I decide I don't want to do it, I won't. But I'm doing it now because I am presenting a document and I am specifically pointing to behaviors that Glorian is engaging in wherein she's violating professional standards of her profession. So instead of her making the accusation towards me, where she provided absolutely no evidence, no proof, and she provided absolutely no identifying behaviors to match any sort of documentation of her claims. So what do I mean? Number one, Gloria Murray was sitting on the smokes panel back in January and February in March. 
while she was sitting on the smokes panel, he was smoking marijuana on a habitual basis. He can smoke marijuana. I don't remember what state he resides in. Glorian Murray, she's been vocal about living in New York. According to her code of conduct manual, which I do have a copy of. See, I went and I obtained a copy of the manual. I don't speak on things I don't know about. Her title is peace officer. In the code of conduct for peace officers, her job title, it very clearly states guidelines for associating with people when you're not on the job. And as of April 21st, I think it's April 21st or April 1st, one of the two, April of 2021, whatever the date is, marijuana became legal in the state of New York. So Glorion Murray was engaging in improper conduct. It was contrary to her professional standards during that time. Not only that, the behavior that she was engaged in during that time would not necessarily be behavior that the code of conduct would endorse as favorable. I'll continue. She participated in the live streams during working hours. And this is where the code of conduct again comes on. Because in that document, she was disciplined for being online during working hours. So that is the lesson when you want to come on and criticize people, that's just one of the lessons, and you want to make accusations towards people, make sure you have the documentation and you know what you're identifying. Don't just come on swiping at people because you're trying to guilt them into silence. Accusing people of something when you have no evidence is not a good idea. I'm not done yet. Glorian Murray is sitting on binary castaways live stream panel and the code of conduct makes it very clear your associations when you're not on the job need to be consistent with the standards of your employment your standards of employment require that you maintain behavior that is acceptable along with those who you consort with. So would those standards of behavior include people who engage in race attacking behaviors, who are homophobic, who are misogynist, who make fun of people who have disabilities, who engage in discussions about vulgar graphic sex acts? Would this be someone who Glorion's code of conduct would approve of? So she thinks she can criticize me and pass judgment on me and my profession when she's never even read the standards very clearly. She didn't identify one single behavior or one standard of conduct other than tearing people down. Now, tearing people down, what is tearing people down? Tearing people down would not include me coming on here and defending myself against Glorion Murray's lies. But Glorion Murray has no room to talk. Her associations with people outside of working hours would not be those individuals that are instead with her code of conduct for peace officers. And there's more. Aren't peace officers supposed to be truth tellers? Regardless of what your personal opinion may be about peace officers, if you are not prone to telling the truth, you are violating the standards of your profession. You know, it's, it's amazing. 
Glorion loves to work very hard to make people believe that this is about what um, live streams and emails, uh, you know, as incorrigible and ghetto as she acts in these arenas and never is accountable for her behavior, she doesn't want people to recognize what a liar she is. I mean, her lies got to a point where she came on to a live stream and got up there telling bald faced lies on me. And someone was stupid enough to believe her and ended up getting himself in so much trouble. Like you would not believe people. I actually not even supposed to be talking about this, but if you're stupid enough to believe her lies, that's exactly what happened. It just so happens it resolved the threats that this person was making because it got the FBI involved. That's how serious it was. And she wants to make it about freaking live streams and says, I'm jealous of okay, jealous of her. If you are jealous of a person, wouldn't you want to emulate the person? If I emulated her behavior, my license would be revoked. There's absolutely nothing about glory on Murray that I would ever want to emulate. <laughs> this is pretty despicable that I received emails that Glorion went off and blabbed Lennon's personal business to the smoke. And just last week, would it be last week? This past week, the smoke was talking to who about this? D. Durrell, up in the live stream. He and D. Durrell mended, I guess, their fences. And they're up there talking about the business that Glorion went and blabbed. This person is bad news. And she wants to come up here <laughs> and try to talk about me and my professional qualifications and ethics. It's really a joke, people. Blabbermouth backstabbing Glorion Murray. People, if ever. I mean this, be sure to take heed of the warning, buyer, beware.